All right, so the first time you open up the Crestron Mobile um, or Mobile G app, the Pro, or actually any of them, but uh, you're going to get this screen. The trick to this is, I don't think it'll let you click. Yeah, you can't click Agree until you actually go to these terms. They're kind of hard to get them to come up. You just have to click around. And then uh, you get to the terms. I don't even think you have to scroll down, but you have to actually view the terms, and then you see the, I don't know if you can tell, the box is white as opposed to gray. So once you see both terms, then you can click Agree to All. Otherwise, those checkboxes will not work. You're going to hit Accept. And then you'll be at this screen. From here, you're going to hit Add to System. Or sorry, Add System. That's going to add a new system. And you're going to fill in these details. Um, these will be provided to you by whoever programmed the system. Uh, if it was me, then I will give you these emails and or these um, details in a separate message email or something so once you fill out those um, I'm gonna pause and put mine in so once you fill in your details you're just gonna hit save um, and either it'll connect or if the um, the inputs that you put into there are not correct it will say give you some kind of error uh, in my case I put something in wrong and all I had was a setup button at the bottom, and it wasn't working. Uh, what I had to do to get back into the, the settings menu was I had to um, close the app uh, on my iPad. It's double-click the home button and then swipe up. Uh, it might be different on, on your iPad. Some of them you have to... Uh, I forget. I think it's a like a three-finger squeeze or something like that or if you have the one without the button I think you swipe from where the button would be and then you hold in the center um, and then you swipe your apps but you had to, I had to close the app and then reopen it in order to get back into the settings menu um, so the other thing you may run into is if you need to change settings if, if for some reason if you have a um, you need to change the settings and your, your iPad is set to automatically connect, which is the default. Um, and you need to get back into those that settings menu. You need to go into your um, your main iPad settings or iPhone settings and then scroll down to uh, Crestron down here. And that's this one. Your app's going to be purple if you have the paid version. I don't have that on this this device. So your advanced settings over here, lock configuration will hide the edit button. So if you don't see an edit button on your setup screen, you need to come in here and disable that lock configuration. Uh, auto reconnect is the one that will make it automatically reconnect. So like mine jumped right into the app. If I disable auto reconnect, and then I go back to the app. Oh. So you have to force the app close before the settings change takes effect. So now it'll take me back to here where I can click uh, edit system and change my my values if I need to. But the only thing you should have to do is accept the terms which is kind of kludgy because you have to view the terms pages first and then uh, input the settings. If you get all that right, then it should take you to this screen and you just have to hit connect and you'll be connected. Just like that.